In this video, we're going to learn about distance and displacement. Distance is how far an object travels, and the unit for distance um, is meters or any other length unit. Uh, the symbol we use for distance is the lowercase d, um, and it is a scalar, uh, which means that it only has a magnitude and no direction, just a magnitude. Displacement, on the other hand, is a change in position. The unit for it is also meters. Uh, the symbol for it, or any other length unit, the symbol for it will be delta x, or the change in position. Uh, delta just means the change in. X is the position. Um, and it is a vector, which means that it does um, have magnitude and direction. So it can be positive or negative. So let's say we travel uh, from position 1, right here, um, all the way to position 3. So um, the distance that was traveled here, the object travels a distance of 2 meters, right? So we count 1, 2, so it's 2 meters. Um, the displacement, the displacement is the change in position. Um, so the final position is 3 uh, minus the initial position is 1. Uh, so we also get two meters. So we get the same number. So when you are moving in the same distance, uh, in the same direction, and you don't change direction, um, then your displacement will be the same as your distance, assuming you're going in a straight line. However, let's say that we, we were uh, moving, let's say instead uh, we were moving from um, uh, positive one to negative two. Okay, so let's say if we were doing this, uh, then our distance, we can count, you know, to uh, one, two, three, so there's like three tick marks there. So the distance is three meters, okay? But now the displacement is different. So the displacement, displacement, okay, is your final minus initial, which is your minus two uh, minus one, uh, which is uh, negative three, negative three meters. Okay, and this is significant right here um, because the negative means that you're moving in a negative direction. All right, so let's say that um, you're going along a windy path like this. So you're going along a windy path, okay? Um, so your distance is going to be, like if you were to drive this, it would be your odometer reading on your car. So, you know, how far that this how much ground did this uh, car actually cover? And so let's say that this is 10 meters. OK, um, so 10 meters. All right. Um, and then the uh, the displacement uh, would be the change in position, which it would be, you know, here and here. OK, it doesn't matter how you got there, but it would just be that uh, change in position. And we're looking for this straight line. You could think of this as the shortest path. Um, this would be your uh, displacement. So the four meters, the straight, the shortest path, the straight line distance um, is your displacement. And then your distance, oops, uh, and then your distance, your distance is going to be um, how much ground you cover. Um, it would be like the odometer reading in your car. Another example would be, uh, let's say you were to go in a circle and you came back to where you started from. Um, so the circle uh, might have a distance of, let's say, uh, four meters. Right, so that is your distance, four meters distance. Okay. However, because you return to where you started from, the displacement is going to be zero, right? Because there's no change in um, position. All right. One more example. Um, let's say you were to go uh, east. Uh, sorry, yes, east, uh, three meters, and then you went north, uh, four meters. Okay, and we want to find out what is your uh, change in position, also your distance. Okay, so let's start with your distance. So your distance is going to uh, simply be 3 uh, plus 4. That gives you 7 uh, meters. That's how much ground was covered uh, when you went 3 meters east and 4 meters north. Um, but your displacement is your um, change in position. And that change in position is going to be from here to here. That's the change in position. Um, that is your shortest path, um, your kind of straight line path from where you started for when you ended. It doesn't matter how you got there. Okay. Um, so uh, for this one, we're going to use um, uh, uh, 
Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, so we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. Uh, this is 9 plus 16 equals c squared. 25 equals c squared. So c uh, square root both sides. Square root both sides. We get c equals 5. So the... Um, the delta x, delta, delta x, the displacement is going to be 5 meters. Even though the odometer of the car um, uh, would indicate 7 meters, uh, however, the displacement is only going to be 5 meters because displacement is the change in position. So now let's review um, what the difference between distance and displacement. Um, first, for the units, the units are going to be the same. It's going to be in meters uh, for distance, uh, meters for displacement, or any other length unit, uh, such as inches, uh, feet, kilometers, and so forth. The symbol for distance is lowercase d. The symbol for displacement is this uh, this delta x or the triangle x uh, just means the change in position. Uh, distance is a scalar. Uh, it only has a magnitude. It's always going to be positive. Uh, displacement is a vector, which means that um, it has a magnitude. Oops. It has a magnitude and also a direction. So it's a vector. It has a magnitude as well as a direction, and that um, direction can be indicated by if it's a positive or a negative. That's what a negative displacement means. It's going the negative, moving the negative direction. Um, and then uh, for displacement, uh, the equation uh, for displacement is going to be the final position minus the initial position. If this video was uh, helpful for you, um, please uh, let me know in the comments. Um, if there are other topics you'd like me to cover, please also let me know in the comments. Thank you very much.